Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the Norton's theorem. What is Norton's theorem statement? It states that in any linear bilateral complex network having more number of elements, the entire network can be replaced with an equivalent circuit called as Norton's equivalent circuit, which consists of Norton's equivalent current source that is connected in parallel with Norton's equivalent resistance. So if you take one circuit, for this circuit, the, the total circuit can be replaced by Norton's equivalent current source that is connected in parallel with Norton's equivalent resistance. And that is connected in parallel with RL load resistance. Okay. So uh, this is the given circuit. For the given circuit, we will convert into total equivalent circuit like this. So IN is called as Norton's current. RN is called as Norton's resistance. So there is a procedure to find out IN and there is a procedure to find RN. Let's see how to find IN and RN. Procedure to find IN. To find IN, so remove the load resistance and short circuiting it. Okay, short circuit the load resistance and find the current passing through the short circuit terminal. Okay, that is nothing but Norton's current. Just we will short circuit the load resistance and what is the current, whatever the current passing through this branch is nothing but Norton's current. Okay, next we will see how to find Rn. To find Rn, just we will replace the voltage source by short circuit. Okay, and load resistance we will remove and we will open circuit it. Okay, after open circuiting it, we will find the total equivalent resistance by using series and parallel operation by looking into these two terminals and we will find the total equivalent resistance. Okay, by using series and parallel operation. Next, by taking one simple example problem and we will find the Norton's equivalent circuit. So, this is the given circuit. Okay, for the, uh, for the given circuit, the total equivalent, uh, this is the total equivalent circuit. Okay, now we will find Norton's current and Norton's resistance. Okay, uh, we have already discussed what is the procedure to find IN and what is the procedure to find RN. Let's see how to find RN, sorry, IN. What is the procedure to find IN? Just short circuit the load resistance short circuit the load resistance and find the current passing through the short circuit terminal branch. Okay. So in this loop, which current is flowing? The current flowing through this branch is I2. Okay. Uh, the if we, if we know what is the value of the I2, then the I2 value is nothing but IN because the current passing through this branch is I2. So I2 is equal to Norton's current. Okay. Now, by using mesh analysis, I am finding the I1 value and I2 value. So assume that there are two loops here. For the two loops, I1 current is flowing and I2 current is flowing in the loop 2. Loop 1 current is I1, loop 2 current is I2. So now I will apply KVL. If we apply KVL in loop 1, we will get 10 is equal to 2 into I1 plus 2 L into I1 minus I2. 10 is equal to 2 into I1 plus 2 L into I1 minus I2 as this 12 ohm resistor is a common resistor for loop 1 and loop 2. At this both the currents I1 and I2 are in opposite direction that's why we are getting I1 minus I2. As we are writing the loop equation for one loop loop 1 so we are getting I1 is positive. Okay next if we simplify the above equation we will get 2 into I1 plus 2L into I1 that is 14 into I1 minus 2L into I2 is equal to 10. This is equation number 1. Now, if we apply the cable in loop 2, we will get, as there is no source here, we will get 0. 0 is equal to 3 into I2 plus 2L into I2 minus I1. Now, we are writing the equation for loop 2. That's why we will write I2 minus I1. If we simplify this, we will get minus 2L into I1 plus 3 plus 2L is equal to 15. 15 into I2 is equal to 0. This is equation number 2. From equation number 192, we will get I1 is equal to 2.27 amperes and I2 is equal to 1.82 amperes. Now, the current passing through this branch is I2. I2 is nothing but IN. The current passing through this branch is uh, I2, that is 1.82 amperes. So, I2 is nothing but IN here because the current passing through this branch is I2. The I2 value is 1.82 amperes. Okay, now, the not tense current of the given circuit is 1.82 amperes. Now let's see how we will get the Norton's resistance. 
see here what is the procedure to find not on the resistance just short circuit the voltage source and open circuit the load resistance by looking into these two terminals we will find the rn by using series and parallel operation now these two ohm resistor and two ohm resistor are connected in parallel okay what is the parallel formula 2 into 12 by 2 plus 12 we will get 1.714 ohms now these two resistors are converted into one single resistor that is i am replacing this circuit by one single resistor that is 1.714 ohms that is connected in series with three ohm resistor so now these two are connected in parallel so what is the series formula r1 plus r2 1.714 ohms plus three ohms that is 4.714 ohms so finally norton's resistance value is 4.714 ohms so now we got norton's current and norton's resistance we will uh, apply these two values in the equivalent circuit so i am writing here i n value we got 1.82 amperes and norton's current we got 4.714 ohms and this is the rl value is as it is this is the given circuit for the given circuit this is the equivalent circuit so we got the norton's current value and rn value now we will find the load current okay by using the current division rule i am finding the current passing through this load resistance branch so load current il is equal to total current into opposite resistance 4.714 opposite resistance by total resistance 4.714 plus 5 ohms so finally we will get load current is equal to 0 0.88 amperes so this is the procedure to find out the norton's equivalent circuit first we calculated in norton's current and after that we calculated the norton's resistance rn after getting in value and rn value place that value in the equivalent circuit after placing that we will find out the load current value so here you can use any one of the method i am using here current division rule what is the formula for current division rule il the required current is equal to total current into for this load resistance what is opposite resistance 4.714 is opposite resistance and divided by total resistance 4.714 plus 5 ohms so if we calculate this we will get il load current is equal to 0 0.88 amperes so this is about the norton's theorem in the next class we will discuss about the maximum power transfer transfer theorem